it's me, I'm back. My body feels like when you cook too much spaghetti, so you don't plate all of it, and some of it's still sitting in the pot, and at the end of the night, you didn't finish the spaghetti, but there's not enough spaghetti for leftovers. It's just like 12 strands of spaghetti. So you put it in the sink, and it's sitting in water, and it's been soaking for 24 hours, and it's become this like limp noodle pile. That's my body right now. This week's video is a continuation of last week's video, which was spent at Northrop Tropicals. So how did this happen? I think how it happened was, as you would have seen from last week's video, we went to Northrop Tropicals for the Equiflora pop-up and to do a quick visit of her brand new, like moved around space. And then it's kind of like how it normally happens when you go on a cleaning spree is when you see a room and you just want to get at it with um, a pair of rubber gloves and a sponge and like your best cleaning supplies. And that's kind of what happened. Charmaine and I were like, you know what? This place really does need to clean. So we agreed to come back the weekend after to do a big deep clean of her retail space. Like the days prior to that, my goodness, I was so pumped. I knew what the space looked like before, and I also knew what the space turned into during the pop-up because if you didn't know, Lauren has been occupying this like big outdoor nursery space for the past year or so, and she's had a lot of complications with um, just the space and like the temperatures and stuff, and a lot of her plants weren't doing as well as they should have been doing because it was like, there was just issues with the space and she was like, you know what, um, I'm just gonna move out, move all those plants back into her normal North Van space, the one that I've been filming in. Imagine putting on an Equiflora pop-up in the same week that you're moving an entire nursery's worth of plants back into that space that I was filming in. That's what happened. And the front retail space, like the, the part of the shop where people can come in and shop per plants, that was just like a holding ground for like racks of plants that didn't have a place during the event. And basically last weekend, Charmaine and I had a day to restore that retail space back to its normal state so that customers can come and shop again. I guess in hindsight, we were quite lucky that it wasn't like crazy hot that day. I think the weekend before that was a lot hotter. So we kind of got a bit lucky there, but it was still really hot. So I think in total, we spent about six hours cleaning that space. And in my mind, when we were going there, I was like, we're gonna go in, we're gonna finish the front and then we're going to the back and then get all those racks tidied up as well. There was no chance like that front space took us all of that six hours and by the end of it we were like these two soggy little spinach girls and it was very satisfying to see that space come back to normal again. I just love cleaning so much. So that night I basically I broke out like my fancy soap, the ones that I've been saving for years. You know the kind where someone gives you to you for birthday because they know it's your favorite scent so you've been saving it in your bathroom for years and years and years and you're like one day I'm gonna use this soap and it's gonna be really good but today's not day like I don't really deserve it yet. I broke out that soap and I had the best shower of my life. I scrubbed my hair. Oh, it was so good. And I, the next day I was just so sore, but it felt also really satisfying. You know when you clean at your house and you've done a big deep clean, you know, like where you like, you know, you got into the places where you just never ever get into. And then you have the satisfaction of like peeking into that room every five minutes just to look at your handiwork. I didn't get to do that, which is sad because I really wish I could just like go and peek at that space again after we finished everything, but hopefully um, it was helpful to Lauren. And then Lauren was kind enough to gift me her um, really big EXO. So I've been after the three foot by three foot one, like the biggest one that they make, and she was getting rid of hers. You might've seen it in some shots um, of the shop that I've taken in the past, but she had the big EXO. She had her Ace of Spades in it. She has some of her personal plants and it was sitting on a wire shelf. So she's gifted me that shelf and the EXO. Two days later, I was like to my boyfriend, like, so we gotta go back to <laughs> North Shore Tropicals and pick up the EXO. And he's like, are you serious? If you've ever moved an EXO that big, that is heavy. After that whole weekend, I was just like, just a pile of soggy spaghetti. 
But anyway, um, this video is not gonna be like too much talking or anything. It's gonna be a lot of time lapses of us um, cleaning the space. I couldn't do a lot of the audio because we were playing music in the background, so copyright laws. Hopefully I can put together something pretty fun to watch. And then yeah, I'll just come back at the end and I'll show you a couple of plants I picked up at Lauren's. Nothing too crazy, um, even though I have this EXO now. I have so many plants to fill it with. I just needed to like get it set up and then fill it up and see what I have room for. But honestly, with my schedule, I don't know if I have room for much more plants, just like my real, real wishlist plants. But I did pick up a couple of plants that I want to show you guys. Soon I want to do an updated plant room tour because the plant room now looks quite different. If you look back on my plant room tour, which is like my second video or something, there were one, two, three, four exos in there plus a grow tent. Um, so I've since sold one of those exos and I gotten two other ones out of the room and I'm just kind of like redoing that one wall with like big exos. So once that's done, I'll definitely do an updated tour and I'm excited to start filming in that room again because it'll be just like a little bit more open and more, I think, organized. I think that's my vision for it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you back here after. Okay, what do we need? Floor cleaner. Seems pretty industrial, or we can just go with good old pine salts. Cheap. Yeah, let's do pine salt for the floors. Put the good stuff up high. What do you think, two of them? Yeah, two. Okay, I got one already. Oh, we need like an all-purpose spray, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. Should we use? There's this one. It's like just a disinfectant. I've never used that before. I usually use um, this is Myers. Wait, yeah, there's the Comet all-purpose cleaner too. Okay. Should we do lavender or lemon fresh? The lemon are gonna be lemon. Lemon. Let's do lemon. Okay. Yeah. Shop towels, we need gloves. Hey Rylan. Hi. How's the shop looking? Messy. Messy? <laughs> right up. Oh. Oh. Wow. This is one full greenhouse of plants moved and stuck back in here. And we're gonna get to work. This space needs to be ready for customers by <laughs> tomorrow. I'm just gonna pan you through here. So you might remember what it used to look like and there's just hundreds of plants that's been stuffed in here over this past week. So the shop also needs a good deep clean. Are you gonna help clean? No. <laughs> I hate cleaning. I love cleaning. I'm gonna transform this space back to its regular glory.
right. You remember this from last time? Not too different, but we did move other plants around. But again, it looks pretty much the same. Heading over to the personal plants here at the top, and then all the elbow pots here are neatly arranged. Mainly, we just took everything down and then wiped down the shelves and dusted around the floors and then kind of arranged the plants a little bit. Charmaine styled this corner with all the dry things and the low light plants or the low light tolerant plants. But this is my favorite corner. So again, we have the wire shelves here. We didn't do too much, but Lauren's gonna be adding a lot to these shelves in the next few days. But I love this corner here. This leaf is beautiful. This came in from the greenhouse. And then in general, we just have these shelves filled out more. So we've got a lot of anthuriums up on the top shelf here. And then Charmaine made a SP Silver Cove with Majestics. Just some low light loving philodendrons. Some orchid pots here. And then all the substrate stuff are down here along with fertilizer stuff. And down here we have pesticides and these self-watering Elho pot inserts. Finland Sonii. Oh, that's so cute. I know. Like, okay. You have to have that one. Because I want, like, I love these leaves on the other one compared to these ones, but then, like, the new leaf on this one is just so beautiful. I know. These are. Right? This, it looks so different. This leaf is so cute and round. Like, how is this, this the same just... plant? I know. <sighs> that's weird. This one looks more. This one looks more similar to the old leaves. This yeah, one looks nothing so like different. The old leaves. Like I think so this one's dark. cooler. Get that one. Okay. We're done! I would high five you, but my hands are so sticky. My armpits are. Be you! Do you want to do a high five on camera? Yeah. Okay. I cannot believe how soggy we looked at the end of the day. <laughs> when I walked in the door that day after, um, I think it was like six o'clock or something by the time we got home, I looked so soggy and gross. My boyfriend was very upset with me because he knew that I was probably not very hydrated. And then I was saying to Charmaine like, I bet you, you weren't hydrated either. And then she was like, I've been sipping on that water all day. So lesson learned, I need to drink more water. And you know what? I'm pretty sure that's why she has way better skin than me it's because she's always sipping on a beverage. Tips and tricks for nice skin. Even after all that, I am like itching to go back and clean more. Like there's so much in the back that I'm like, ooh, like I just want to get in there and like organize this and I can envision a shelf here and then we're gonna like tidy this up and then we're gonna have all this stuff like organized this way. So maybe in the future she'll have us back for another uh, tidy sesh, but um, maybe that's like a fall project because Kind of sounds like summertime is not the right time to take on a project like that because it's going to be way too hot. I need to show you the plants I picked up. So I only picked up... Oh, there's another one. So Lauren was growing a lot of her mother plant anthuriums out in the nursery space. And when they all made it back to the shop space, there was just like absolutely no room for all of them. Um, a lot of them are her mother plants that she's been like uh, hybridizing with luxurians and each other. Um, and some of them weren't. So the ones that weren't tagged as pollinated, she was like offering it to Charmaine and I. So <laughs> um, you, <laughs> you'll have to see Charmaine's video for what she picked up, but I'll show you what I picked up. I picked up this um, Anthurium crystallinum magnificum, which is in flower. If I can just pull this down, we got that spadix emerging now from the spathe. 
it's such a beautiful pinky color. Um, so I don't currently have any pollen for this guy. So what I would probably do is I'll just I'll just collect the pollen from this one and freeze it for my next flower. I don't know that there's anything I want to hybridize this with currently that's like a flowering age. Really the only anthurium I have right now that I want to hybridize is my luxurians and that's not even anywhere close to flowering um, age. So yeah, I might just collect the pollen if in case someone I know is looking for pollen one day. So there's that. I think um, eventually I'll probably get this into a big pond container. I just don't have anything like this big to put it in. So there's that first one. Really, really nice and dark one. And I just like, just this one looks so much like crystallinum that I just couldn't resist because I have such a soft spot for crystallinum. And then the second one, this is another crystal mag, but this one looks a lot more like Magnificum. So here's that new leaf. It's still hardening off a little bit. There are two other like import leaves that are a little bit more busted up. This one was, this one was still expanding during the move. So that's why there's like a little bit of cosmetic damage here, but it's still so cute. Actually it looks like, oh, this one looks like it's about to put out an inflow as well. You can see. I'm sorry if I hit the mic here. You're gonna see the inflow is emerging from the petiole here. These two are currently living in the plant room where the big XO is going to go. Um, the big XO is still not in the plant room yet. It's still downstairs. So I still have to carry it up a couple flight of stairs, which is a future me problem. I think I have to like build some sort of extension on the shelf, like a wider platform so that it can sit on it without like sticking out the side because that's a that's a big exo to fall off a shelf so i'm waiting for that to be installed before i can get all the plants back into their normal spaces i'll just hold them side by side there <laughs> i said i didn't have space but i brought these two back home but in my defense this is nothing compared to what charmaine brought home let me tell you that the last thing i picked up it's already so hot in here lauren asked if i wanted to take an elbow that she couldn't sell on her shop because it's too white. You could see that the original leaf is quite white. Um, the stem is also quite white. And then every leaf from there has been like 99% white, like just with like a little green stripe down the middle. Um, the newest leaf is that way as well. Is it gonna show the green? I don't know if it's showing the green. And then if you look at the petioles, there is some green in there. You can kind of see that like it's white, but underneath the white, there is like a layer of green. I don't know if you can see, can you see that? But there is like a layer of green under the white. So Lauren can't sell an elbow like this in her shop. So she asked if I wanted it and I'm like, yeah, I want it. I want to see what this can do. It's um browning a lot, which is great. I repotted it into pond because I'm, I'm growing my other elbow in pond and then I'm growing my Thai constellation in pond and it's working well for me so I just use the same mix for this one and um, once this gets going and gets more established then I'll get it onto a lazy pool but I thought it was kind of cute I don't know why I'm just like I've got a thing for elbows right now like who am I so yeah it was those two anthuriums the elbow the giant exo the big wire shelf following the weekend where we cleaned she did this like massive like she did a few sets of like free plant pickup so she just put a lot of free plants out and you know alerted the plant group and then people came and picked up and free plants and that was really nice and she also did a big like cheap plants Hoya sale with like some aeroids still her space is like too full like it's it's hard to walk around in there still so she has a big huge restock plan for this week like the week that this video is going up um, and I'm sure she's gonna have at least a couple more this summer so make sure you're following her on Instagram because she usually announces her restocks on her stories and then she'll do like a restock preview sometimes so you can kind of like you can do that typing in the search bar thing when the restock happens so this wraps up this two-part North Shore Tropical series Thank you, Lauren, so much for having us again and letting us just raid your space and take all your plants away. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see you in the next one.